Good evening, folks. Welcome back to Let's Really Ghost Thief Gold. Go ahead and come in here, back to the end of the Haunted Cathedral. Now, let me give my spiel about the Haunted Cathedral here. I realized after I uploaded the video and watched it that I did, in fact, alert the spider with the fire arrow shot on the time I thought that I had not, so I failed the ghost of the Haunted Cathedral, and I frankly remain unconvinced that it's possible. All of the reports that claimed success were pretty summary about claiming success. They didn't even mention having to make the shot. They didn't mention any trouble with it whatsoever. I think that the people who claimed success were mis of the mistaken belief that the alert didn't matter since the objectives required them to make the shot, but the alert is still not allowed, even if you have to make the fire arrow shot, so <laughs> until I see video proof, I will be convinced that that shot is not possible to make without alerting the spider, and that the haunted cathedral is therefore unghostable. I would be happy if someone showed me video proof to the contrary. Of course, that would mean I'd have to replay the mission myself, and I probably wouldn't record it, but I digress. Let's move on to the Mage Towers, a mission where it's possible to perfect Supreme Thief. Here's the end of the haunted cathedral. As always, you should have seen the briefing separately. I uploaded it to the playlist. Our objectives. Find where the mages of the Hand Brotherhood have hidden the Earth Talisman. Steal the Earth Talisman from the Hand Brotherhood. The central library of the High Council contains a pair of jeweled reading glasses that belong to some esteemed member of their order. You'll need to discover where the mages have tucked it away and snag it. Regalio, the captain of the guard, has been leading a crusade to retrieve the talismans. One of your contacts says that he's returned with a valuable amulet. Steal the medallion of St. Burringdon from the captain. The mage's wealth is well rumored. Caravans from their homelands to the east bring treasure. Steal 1800 loot. A master thief should be proficient enough to avoid murder. Slaughtering guards and mages will soon alert the inner circle to your presence. Be discreet, avoid contact where possible, and don't kill anyone. Underneath the mage towers, there is a hidden entrance to the sewers. Find it and escape alive. What, a couple things to mention here before we actually hit start. The first is that the Mage Towers suffers from a potentially terrible game-breaking have-to-restart-the-mission bug in the Air Tower. Sometimes one of the moving platforms that you need to progress just isn't there. If you encounter this bug, there is no recourse except to restart the mission, sad to say. If we encounter that bug, well, you probably won't even see this video, because I'll restart and I won't bother with the recording of my first attempt where I ran into the bug. But, at least in an effort to minimize the time required if you do have to restart, I'll begin by going through the towers as soon as possible, and then progressing to loot the keep and do the rest of the mission. The second thing to note is that your starting gear lies to you. We will have a rope arrow at the beginning of this mission, which is important. We need a rope arrow in order to successfully perfect supreme the mission, but we do have one, we don't need to buy one, which means that we don't have to break that supreme rule, we can go ahead and proceed without purchasing any items. Let's do so and let's begin. I'm gonna leave my save at the end of the haunted cathedral just in case I hit the air tower bug and have to restart. And as always, I like to begin by looking at our map. Our map here is actually pretty detailed. First we see here the entire complex. In the northeast, we have the air tower, the southeast, the water tower, the southwest, the earth tower, and the northwest, the fire tower. We've got stairs on either side, which lead into the mage keep where the central tower is. The library is affixed to the south end of the keep. And we have here a fairly detailed map of the mage keep itself. We see the dungeon underground. We see the first floor with a good interior layout. We've got the lower library mapped out for us. We have the second and third floors of the Mage Keep pretty well mapped out as well. We've got a well-detailed map of the Keep. We don't have maps of the inside of the towers at all. We just know that the towers exist. But with all that said, our first destination is going to be the Water Tower. We're just going to sweep through here getting a little bit of loot and picking some pockets, but really our objective is going to be to get to the air tower as fast as possible. We have to clear the water tower first, and then the earth tower, and then we bounce over to the air tower, and finally the fire tower before moving to the mage keep. So, with that said, I'm going to start by heading to the water tower. Let's go. You can start immediately by heading left.
in this garden area outside the air tower, you can find two patrolling mages, each of which has a key. I'm just going to pick and immediately drop for the sake of my pickpocket count. See the vast earth and burn in eternal fires. I like the mage's cool, echoey voices. I know they just cranked the reverb, but I still think it's a neat effect. Okay, we got there two pickpockets. We can't get into the air tower yet, so let's just move through this door. <laughs> the mage towers is a level where verticality of sound is pretty broken. But we won't worry too much about it. An archer's gonna come by, head out this door. He's carrying a key, which will just drop on his patrol route as soon as he's gone. <coughs> no one heard that, that's good. Now we'll move over here, we'll grab this purse, worth 100. And head out this door on the other side. <clears throat> now if we wait here a bit, uh, patrolling swordsmen should come out with a fourth key, which we'll just pick and drop. We are going to need to keep one copy of one of those silver keys that you've seen various people carrying. I'll take his. <laughs> For now. This guy has a gold key we can immediately drop. Gold <laughs> There's another one of those silver keys. <clears throat> now that's already six pickpockets, if you can believe that. Now what we're gonna do is move <coughs> over toward the water tower entrance and we're gonna hear a conversation. <coughs> or, I thought we would, thought anyway. I saw something. Well, there's a supreme bust. I thought there was a conversation. Maybe I'm wrong. But why are the handmaids the only ones allowed in? Why won't they allow us into their towers? We're here to keep a watch on the commons and to deal with mundane threats. The mages can protect themselves. But what with all the secrecy? Even the servants ain't allowed there. These wizards trust anyone? I found it best not to ask questions. The gold they give me answers all the questions I have. <clears throat> now, these two guards are going to walk, <sighs> but one of them will come back and he will stand there permanently, so we want to slip into the tower while they're both away. As you see here, the lock on the water tower is broken, so we can move on in. Nothing in here. We find out from some flavor text later that there was an accident in someone's experiment. So we can just swim up here. Grab the earth key. And head right back to the entrance. The other three towers will not be this easy. Believe you me. They get progressively harder too. Earth is next, which is easier than air, which comes after it. And hardest of all is fire, the one we do last. Anyway. The guard is probably back now, but we should be able to sneak behind him and head west toward the Earth Tower. Sir? Yes, you see him there. Now he'll just stand there and turn back and forth, so... 
Crossing these gardens is easy, with the plentiful shadows to be had. Who's there? Oops. Let's be just a little bit more observant. For the sake of a successful Supreme Ghost. So far we've got 100 loot and 6 pickpockets. And Supreme is intact. That should be obvious. Alright. Moving to the west, we see this archer here, but we should be able to pop in behind him, no problem. Shut the door. If you move over... I'm sorry, wrong side. Move over here. In this room, there are eight silver coin stacks worth 12 each, which will bring our loot total to 196. Now eventually our seventh pickpocket should walk through here, so I'm gonna wait for that. I'll tell you what. Let's move on for now. We'll worry about that pickpocket later. In this garden, we've got two patrolling mages. Oh, and what do you know? There's the guard I was waiting for anyway. This works better anyway. Let's snag that key. Try and help me remember, the one I'm keeping is the, from the water tower garden. Okay, let's find the two mages in this garden. Make sure we get those picks before there's eight pickpockets. <coughs> Nine pickpockets. Yes, pickpockets abound. But now we're going to go ahead and sneak into the earth tower. That felt a little bit tense, but no worries. As you might expect, the Earth Key unlocks the Earth Tower. I got a first alert from the mage inside. Can't have that. Now, if you haven't already guessed, the Earth Tower is... It's really the first tower we've gotten into. Should be obvious the talisman isn't in here. And you can't remove the keys from the locks once you put them in, so we don't have to worry about Supreme for that. Let's read this little document. Cool earth wraps tightly around us. Constrictive veins of tower tunnels caress beating heart of grinding rock. In mastery of my element, I leap from stone to falling stone. Boulders float as feathers. Scribbled poetry, adept Arone's notebook. Now, there's one earth mage walking around down here, but you see there's plentiful darkness, so he barely even registers as a threat. Over here, if you're interested, I think, if I can find the table. There it is. Moss arrow, two moss arrows and a healing potion over in this dark little corner. Anyway, head up the stairs to the next floor. 
There are two Earth Mages wandering around this room. They're pretty unpredictable, so you just have to be careful. They saw us that time, so... That time they did not, that's good. The way I usually get up is just mantle right onto the doorway. Mantle onto the walkway here. Now you can take the floating platforms if you want to, but that's needlessly complex since you have to jump and make noise landing on the stone. Significantly easier to make this ascent with a single well-placed rope arrow. Mantle that way, grab your arrow, move right up to the next floor. I should have done this already. I'm gonna make a real save right quick. Because everything has gone swimmingly up to this point, but we haven't hit the game breaking bug yet. There were two moss arrows down on that upper walkway on the first level that I ignored. Now there's one mage patrolling on this level, and it seems like he's coming up to us right now. We'll try to just pop out behind him. Over here are two more moss arrows, which I'm not going to bother with, but they're there if you want them. Now as he comes over here, we'll get around behind him and head up to the next level. I like the trippy music in the tower, I have to say. The cool thing about the mages, too, is if they spot you, they all have different attacks. The earth mages will hit you with crushing vines. Up here on the fourth floor... There's another patrolling earth mage, which I need to book it back here and hide from, I think. But on this level, there's a rope arrow and two moss arrows. There's still only one mage. You see right here, the staircase leading up to the fifth level. Because we're not interested in the rope arrow and moss arrows over on the other side of level four. Here on the fifth level, there are two mages. They patrol counterclockwise. So, I will also head counterclockwise. Well, no, I won't. Yes, I will. I should be following behind them. Wait, no, I'm heading clockwise, aren't I? I don't know. I'm so confused. Anyway, on this level... There's nothing. I think... Oh no, there are. There are some more moss arrows. On the tables around All here. Is Whoops! Okay, now I know which way they're headed, so... I can head the other way and get in that way that's right there are four moss arrows to be had on this level if you're interested in heading around all of those tables and grabbing them I am not well that just took me in a big circle Okay, he's coming this way. He's gonna see me. Yep, has had had to, had to. Let's wait and do a little bit better job surveying 
his disposition. Now I ought to be able to follow him. I think this niche might be a good spot to wait. Because I think he's going to turn around and come back. Yes. Oh, I hear his friend. There he is. I knew there were two of them. Now we should be clear to pop up to the next level. There are your other two moss arrows. Now this last level is the most difficult. It's open, unlike the others. It's got two patrolling mages. One of them has a healing potion we want to pickpocket. Apart from that, we want to get across the room to the passage to the upper level. But this, I won't lie to you, is going to be a lot of trial and error because... These guys are difficult to track, and hiding places are hard to come by. I think that's the one with the potion, I think. Yes, it is. Let's try and nab that when we get a second. Ten pickpockets. Let's wait until we have some space and then drop this back on his patrol route. Good. We pulled that off without making any noise. I didn't hear any commentary just then. Okay, good. There are no patrollers on this top level. Altogether, there are five rope arrows and eight moss arrows, but we don't need to pick any of them up. We can just move along. Just try to mantle. We'll just you know, have to play a game of gradually <gasps> roping, retrieving. If you go down to the bottom of these pits, you can find more goodies. But I'm not worried about goodies. I think we can make this descent with no damage. We come up under here, have to rope up again. Have to do a better job than that. That's much better. And drop into this last little hole. In this room, inside this chest, we get the air key. So now it's time to head to the Tower of Air. Now, the next step is simple, if irritating. I am going to backtrack all the way down to the bottom of the Earth Tower. Head back out the way I came in. <sighs> it's worth noting that each tower has an access point, which leads from the upper levels to the keep, but I don't usually like to take those because you can't reclose those doors once you open them, if I remember right. 
anyway, it's unnecessary, and you have to enter the other towers from the ground level anyway, so we're just going to do that. This is still the hardest room, just like it was on the way up. Just got to get through it. Kind of hope you luck out. And we did just then. We really did. Now I think we are... Clear of the Earth Tower. Well, almost. I mean, the rest is very simple. And the important thing, obviously, is that Supreme Ghost remains intact. Right now we have 10 pickpockets, 196 loot, and we are carrying the air key. Probably comes as no surprise then that our next destination is the air tower. All right, here we are back at this base level. Oh, almost base level. I guess it's the the second level. Now you can drop down from there without taking any damage. You want to head counterclockwise. There's some moss arrows, the ones I mentioned earlier. Because that's the way the mage here patrols. Let's drop down to the top of the doorway. Drop down to the ground floor. And head right out. As soon as you get a good gap. And that's the Earth Tower. That wasn't so bad. Oh, my door disappeared. I hate that shit. Let's see if we can avoid that. <laughs> we might not be able to. There we go. Oh, nope, nope, not fast enough. If I don't want it to disappear, I'm gonna have to stop it from opening all the way. So. That's a start. I'm gonna wait till his back is to me. That's an engine bug, and. It wouldn't bust me to fail to eliminate an engine bug, but I don't want to tolerate it if I don't have to. Alright! Now we're through the Earth Tower. Next step is to head to the Air Tower. Which is down here. We'll head north this time through the one garden we have not yet been in. Just gotta kinda hope for good timing with all this. Over on this table is another purse worth another hundred. Loot total 296. These are the grounds of the fire tower. We'll be here later, but while we're here, we might as well get our 11th pickpocket, which is on a fire mage walking around somewhere down here.
That looks like our quarry. Excellent. With that done... Uh-oh. With that done, we will wait until that archer is gone. And then we'll head through the starting ground over to the air tower, which is up next. We're back to where we've started the mission. We've done a full circle around the mage keep, and we've cleared two of the four towers. Not bad. Head over head on over to the air tower. The air tower is more difficult than the earth tower. But it's not even in the same league as the fire tower. The air tower is still pretty easy. As long as we don't hit the aforementioned bug. I think all these doors are tricky, so I'm going to be careful. But use the air key and open it up. Same story as before. One air mage patrolling around down here. A little brighter than the earth tower, but other otherwise no big deal. Still plenty of places to hide. Now if you pop over there, you can get a gas arrow. And if I'm not mistaken, that's the first gas arrow that's available in the entire game. If you're not ghosting, gas arrows are extremely powerful. Extremely. They will instantly knock out an enemy, even if they're aware of you. And in fact, they can knock out a whole group if you can get them together into the cloud. Very, very powerful tool in your arsenal. Anyway. Second floor is pretty rough. Because there are two mages patrolling around, and the floor is tile, not stone. So we're going to have to be very careful. We shall build shelters from the winds, feel the countless waters, see the vast earth, and burn in eternal fires. Anyway, let's get upstairs. Mysterious. Hopefully Garrett... It, oh, come on. You'll also notice that I don't have a good shadow here. That's a big problem, too. Alright, the first thing you want to do is get over into this relatively safe corner. You need to manage that mantle without the ugly jump noise at the end. Darkness shall overtake oh, wait. You. Never mind. We don't have to mantle. There's a staircase in this tower. Durr. Well, that solves that problem. Fortunately, the two mages are fairly close to each other. The staircase is a stone floor, but the rest is marble. Or tile, or whatever you want to call it, so move nice and slow. Now, the bug... I think can happen with any of the platforms, but you see these floating platforms here. Okay, we don't have time to fully creep crawl. Hopefully they're far enough away that they won't hear us. Uh, yeah, there's the first one coming upstairs. Hurry up, lift. <sighs> now this is a stone floor, which is, is good. This a vision? But as you can see, this whole uh, shindig is a little bit hairy because the platform opens up right into another patrol route.
good news is they don't seem to be able to hear my steps. But still, it'd be good to get up there faster so we can clear the mage's patrol. Anyway, once we get past that mage, if we don't hit the bug, the rest of the air tower is pretty easy. <gasps> so he came from that direction, so we'll head this way. Over on this table, you find a speed potion, as you can see. If we just keep going counterclockwise, I don't think we should have a problem. Now this is where I've encountered the bug before. I'm told it can happen in any of the rooms where you have to wait for a platform, but so far so good. You don't really have a choice but to make the big jump onto these bad boys, but shouldn't hurt you too much. So far, so good! It looks like all the platforms are here! I believe we have avoided the bug! Thank goodness! I did not want to have to restart. And in case you're wondering if I did have to restart and deleted a video, I didn't. I got through the, this whole thing the first try. Which is good. Restarting makes me mad. Game breaking bugs make me mad. Well, I might have spoken too soon, but this is the last floating platform. So now we come out to the top floor, still no patrols to worry about. Up here you can make as much noise as you want. That chest has the fire key in it. We have to hit both telescopes and it will temporarily lower. We'll have about 10 seconds or so. I usually have to lower it twice. And once it's fully touched down, we can work on the lock. Yeah, see there. They reset. Remind me to start on my square toothed pick when I get back down there. Once we pick this open, we will have the fire key. Open and shut. Now the telescopes should reset themselves as before. With the fire key in hand, once again we're going to backtrack to the bottom of the tower. And then... We're going to go ahead and tackle the fire tower, which will be an endeavor, believe you me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, 
devastating. Gotta be careful not to get pinched. Oh. Well, that was just absurd that it would happen twice in a row like that. Now here we have to be careful. We are descending back into patrol zones. So remain cautious. It's probably best to wait until we see him. There he is. It's also probably a better idea to follow him, now that I think about it. Because he always moves the same direction. He just switches between these two hallways. Follow him back to the elevator. Down to the... Oh no! Are you serious? Was that a loop? Or does he actually turn around? Okay, he turns around. My mistake. Alright, let's head this way then. I could have sworn he just walked two big circles. And in fact, I know that he came this way the first time we were in here. Oh well. And we got spotted that time. Obviously, this descent is getting a little complicated. Uh, don't worry too much. Really shouldn't be that hard. Now, I'm tempted to try to rush this, but I think the smart play is to follow these guys counterclockwise okay. and... Still avoid getting squashed. Avoid making noise. And just make our descent when these guys are busy up here. I'm worried we're gonna get spotted, but that may be a phantom worry. I wonder now, with them over there, if we can just drop. Let's find out. Ha ha ha, yes! I just make a beeline for the exit. Praise whatever deity you worship that we're off the tile floor. Go ahead and get across the very simple ground level. Well, I say simple, but that was a quirky little zag, but no worries. I imagine we might run into the same problem here. And make a real, real save. We're clear of the bug. Not an issue this time. Now, we'll head over to the fire tower and mentally steal ourselves for the hard part. That was nothing compared to what the fire tower is going to throw at us. But let's keep track of where we are. We still have 10 pickpockets. We have 296 loot, and we have cleared three of the four towers. I'm sorry, not 10. We have 11 pickpockets. 11 pickpockets plus 296 loot.
perhaps more important than any of that, Supreme Ghost is still intact. As a reminder, I am carrying one silver key. I think the one I kept was from the Water Tower Garden. Anyway, bust on into the Fire Tower! Oh, well this doesn't look so bad! Yeah, get ready. First floor is easy, though. Like it is in all the towers. Plenty of darkness. Nice stone floor. Just one dude walking around. I do want to get over there and read that papyrus when we get a break in his patrol. You'll know the hard part when we get to it. It's near the very top. To Adept Alhair, Lieutenant Scarl disobeyed Captain Regalio's specific orders and ventured into the Tower of Fire. Needless to say, he was ill-prepared to deal with the trials of flame and lava that await all entrants. The charred corpse was brought to the laboratories where it will be put to good use. The fire can cleanse us, but it is not for the commons. See to it that this incident serves as an example to others. Archmage Kamen Ramin. Or Kamin Ramin, I guess. I doubt they meant for it to be pronounced Ramen. Although you never know. Alright, as soon as we can follow him through the light patch and get to the stairs, we will do so. Here is where things start to get fancy. I'm gonna go ahead and do one last real save here. Alright. You'll probably immediately notice that all of the floors are metal. You'll also notice that the place is very well lit, at least in some spots that we need to go through. And there are two patrolling mages. And you see those glowing floor panels? If we step on them at the wrong time, they will burn us. And we don't want that. We don't like getting burned. Anyway, first things first, we want to head over here and sneak up the stairs. We should be able to do that without causing any commotion as long as we move slowly. We are on metal floor. There's a fire arrow over there, if you're ballsy enough to go after it. I'm sorry, I think I was wrong. I think there's only one mage walking around down here, not two. That's good. In case you're wondering. Ah! Devastating. I should have saved up there. Because I think... We're actually safe from detection up there. <sighs> Despite the fact that we aren't really concealed in a good shadow. <sighs> That's obviously not going to work.
creep up to the edge. I heard no commentary from the mage, so that's good. Now we just need to be patient with these heated tiles. Try and get clear before it lights back up. I think he's gonna turn right. Oh, nope, he's gonna come over here first. Very good, now we should be able to creep up to the next floor. All right, that wasn't so bad. Ever onward. Follow this mage. Be careful of the heat tiles as always. Make sure you move nice and slow as always. Kinda gotta bust a move here. And arrive on some blessed stone floor. Get away from those bad heat tiles. Now this is the spot to make a real save. There we go. Now I'm gonna wait for him to head back that way. Cause I think he's coming back soon. Maybe not. Okay, yeah, he's coming. <laughs> now, this area of this floor is pretty much clear. I believe it's this nook has a chest with a fire arrow in it. I'll be ignoring it. You can take it if you're so inclined. I hear him coming back, so I'm going to wait until he turns around and leaves again. Uh-oh. Well, we obviously can't have that. So, let's wait in a spot where hopefully he can get by us a little better. <laughs> you can see how perfect the shadow was. He was so thoroughly walking into me that he couldn't move, but he still didn't notice I was there. Thank you, Dark Engine. I think he's headed out now. the heated tiles. I thought these stairs were normal stone. Don't make the same mistake I did. Although no one heard that error, so we're still good. Alright. We're here on a nice, normal concrete floor with plenty of darkness. Another great place to save.
We're gonna follow him out of the room when he leaves. <coughs> Now we're back on metal. You sort of knew it was gonna happen. Such is life in the fire tower. We still haven't gotten to the hard part, if you're wondering. Now here we've got concrete, darkness, there's a fire arrow there if you want it. I'm just gonna bust it to this dark patch. And wait here for him to go back. That is a he there's a healing potion in that box if you want it. We arrive at the hard part. Be careful, the staircase is metal, so stay stay silent. Now, let me tell you what up with this room. You see two patrolling mages. You see one stuck. You see all this metal, all these walkways. No really good way up. I do believe we're safe in this spot. So, the one inside the lava is never going to move. Good, we are safe here. Now the simplest way up, although it's very difficult to pull off, the darkness will Mantle onto the railing like that, and then mantle onto this walkway like that. No comments from anyone. That's what we're all about. Stay quiet. Keep an eye on these guys. Move right up these stairs. Hope that if they get stuck, like these guys did, they get stuck far enough away to let you do that. Alright. That wasn't as bad as I remember. Go figure. Anyway, you can see a chest on the other end of the walkway in front of me. That has a healing potion in it. No need to concern ourselves with that. There's a 
shut that door behind us. And I think we're done with patrollers. Yes, we are. Which is good. Because we got no choice but to make some noise in here. Now, obviously, we're going to have to hop on and off these tiles. It's a good approach to just jump off when you see them start to fade. And move right back in. You can use water arrows to darken these for a longer time frame, but it's not really necessary. Just pay attention to the timing. Don't get greedy. Get off as soon as you see the other ones start to darken. Now for the talisman. Open and shut. Now we have the treasure key. Excellent. And on down the stairs we go. And, as we've been doing, we are going to head all the way down and leave the way we came in. So if those guys are still stuck, it might actually be easier than I thought. But uh, the route I'm using up and down the stairs with the mantling, you can take even if their patrols are working right. You just have to pay attention to the timing. It still works. As far as I know. I'm pretty sure it does. It's the way I always use. Never had any big, big problems with it. Keep an eye on them and more importantly going to keep my ears open for first alerts because I don't want any of those because I don't have to take them. For the last, I'm going to wait until I see that other mage come up and head back down. You see there, the uh, his animation has deactivated. I wonder if it'll reactivate. There it goes. That is one of the Dark Engine's more amusing quirks, so enjoy. All right. Creep quietly down the stairs. Nice and careful out here. I made a noise, but that doesn't really matter. Get to the concrete. I'm going to wait here for him to head over to the stairs. You might be wondering why I chose to keep the silver key from the water tower garden. The answer is that the water tower garden contains a secret entrance to and from the dungeon, which is our eventual exit. So, returning the key will end up being on our way out. He should blow right past us, no problem. Quietly cross the metal floor. And 
move on down here. Okay. Now I don't know where the patroller for this level is, so the quick save here is definitely wise. Kind of got to hustle off that heated tile though. All right, he's coming. Uh, hustle over the heated tile, like I said. And then I think we should be able to wait in this corner for him to get by us. I made two loud steps there, but I don't think anyone heard me. Now I think we can follow him out. Preferably with a more, a better job of silently creep crawling, but I'm in a hurry because there's so much uh, heated tile, bright light, floor to get across. Anyway, no one heard me. No first alerts, so should be good to quick save. He'll blow right by us. Now we have a good long while, but we are going to have to wait for these to light and then shut down. remember right the exit is over here or the yeah the top of the stairs sounds like he's close by Yep, there he is. We're going to get through here the same way we did on our way up. it a bit make sure there's no first alert here I believe there's not so if we get clear of this congratulations the hard part is now over just cut right here Same thing with this door, just to make sure it doesn't disappear on us. Well, I failed. Excellent! Alright, inventory. 11 pickpockets, 296 loot, and we have the treasure key. All four towers are clear. What we want to do now is head back to the water tower garden over to the southeast. That feels good, folks. I ain't gonna lie. That feels real good.
Now there, there are some difficulties in the mage keep, and there's one room where we're gonna have to do some good old fashioned crate manipulation to manage to keep Supreme Ghost intact and get all the loot, but in terms of straightforward hardcore sneaking, nothing's gonna be as tough as the water tower we already completed. Now, I don't know exactly where the secret entrance is, so you'll have to bear with me while I hunt for it. I know it's somewhere in this garden. It's on the in the grass, so if I just run around enough, I should highlight it eventually. Aha! There it is. Just pop down into the dungeon. Close the secret entrance behind us. And another real save is in order. All right. Here in the dungeon. Head down the ladder. Chest on the left, a diamond, 100, total 396. The right chest has a water arrow if you're interested. On the shelves, two stacks of silver coins, 12 each for a total of 420. Silver nugget worth 50, total of 470. Now down here, you see another secret door head out into the dungeon proper. There are two patrollers. It's tough to tell where they are, but there are plenty of shadows in the hallways, so not too much to worry about in here. That metal door leads to the central staircase in the keep, which we'll be making pretty heavy use of, but let's tackle this middle hallway first. These two doors can be opened and relocked with our silver key. So, we head into the southern room. Lock it behind us. We've got, I believe this is 10 broadhead arrows on the shelf. There's a water arrow on the table. Over here you find a silver nugget, 50, total 520. Silver coin stack, 12, total 532. And a purse. Um, 100, total 632. Now, being wary of the patrollers, which are not mages, but are just standard guards. Want to pop across to the northern storeroom. There's a gold nugget in here, worth 100, total 732. There's a purse, also worth 100, total 832 and a document. Let's read. I can finally get back to work. My apologies for being behind schedule on the new round of vivisection. The workmen have finally cleared out, having just finished walling up the last main entrance to those infernal sewers. The old sewers are still largely unmapped, but present too much of a security risk to be left. I find it amazing that they reach back to the city despite our distance from it. There is still the one secret entrance that we can use to traverse the sewers. The guards that patrol it will deal with anything unfortunate enough to struggle out of that muck. Adept Haseki Bazar. Alright. Now, this dungeon is actually our escape route at the end of the mission. But we've already got it nice and looted, which is good. Lock that door behind us. And pop right over to the central stairs. Take these bad boys up to the first floor of the keep. It is time to get started. Well, started. We already have the treasure key. Time to get started looting. Emerging from that central room, or central staircase, go through the empty room, gonna read this. Cellarer Abruca, we urgently need the chemicals last requested. Two days hence, we'll be sending young Luca to the city. Have one of your helpers accompany him. Also, see if you can add three goats, a camel, and a burrick to the animals gathered for the next round of experiments. 
Adept Haseki Bazaar. Anyway, there's a patrolling servant there, which we need to be careful of. And here we arrive in sort of the main front entrance to the Mage Keep. There's a swordsman somewhere who has a gold key. Well, that's not a good shadow, so... Let me peek at my map right quick. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh no. Oh good. If he had insisted on being stuck, I don't think we would have been able to deal with it. Right now, I'm, right now I'm just trying to get a feel for where everyone is. This is the room we need to get into. It's got three bottles of wine, 50 each, brings our loot total up to 982. I thought he eventually came in here. Help, help. Okay, obviously our timing is way off. I also think I might have missed another bit of reading in here. I did. Notice to all servants and guards, herein let it be known that the four towers of Mage Keep are sacrosanct and thus off limits to the commons. Only those adept may enter. Guards may enter the tower foyers on business, but may not proceed upwards. Archmage Ibn al Harud. There's the second servant who patrols around down here. So, okay, I've got two of the patrollers locked in. I believe there is a fourth one. Pop in here, grab the wine, and pop out. Like I said, three bottles, 50 each, total 982. Hopefully you can get back to the shadows before anyone comes back. I'm gonna wait for the swordsman because he's got the 12th pick pocket. Well, I say wait. Let me see if I can find him. Okay, I don't want to trigger that conversation yet, so. I actually think I will wait. Maybe I do have to trigger the conversation. Let me save and see if one of the talkers has the key I'm waiting for. These mages are not ones to be trifled with. Some use their magic on old Bradward. 
The mages caught him stealing lupins from the tables of the meeting hall. One nope, of that's him. We will listen to that conversation, don't worry. Oh, I hope that guy's not neglecting to patrol. That very well could be the case. I may have to get close the enough to trigger him walking. To with. So I'm used their magic on old Bradwar. Oh, looks like he's stuck. Maybe we can unstick him. These mages are not ones to be trifled with. So I'm used their magic on old Bradwar. The mages caught him stealing. Okay, we're gonna have to get closer to him. Is that enough? These mages are not ones to be trifled with. So I'm using their magic on old Brad. No, I think we're gonna have to try and go upstairs to unstick him. These mages are not ones to be trifled with. So I'm using their magic on old Brad. One of them summoned great hurtling balls from the sky. I think this is on his patrol route. It is. Alright. Well, we triggered that conversation earlier than I wanted. But it doesn't matter much. It just frees that archer to patrol around. Our objective now is just to get back to the central stairs and head up to the second floor. We're already done down here. Of course, getting back through there is easier said than done, given the high traffic volume here, but I think this is an opening. Yes, good. By the way, this room, empty. Alright. The central stairs, amazingly enough, are completely unpatrolled. So, now we're up to the second floor. Things get, tend to get more complex the higher up we go, but... Have to be careful, this room is pretty heavily patrolled. This door unlocks and relocks with our silver key. And it's got a good shadow in it. Now he's got another silver key, which we're gonna have to drop as close to him as the detection radius will allow. Over there! Looks like that's about right. Let's roll back in and relock the door. Well, let's time that a little bit better. Let's head to here. Grab this purse, worth a hundred, brings our loot total to 1,082. Always nice. Now 
Now we don't want to head out that door into the main foyer, so head to this archway when the mage isn't around and hop into some more handy dandy shadow. This, this room's got two patrollers and one stationary guard you can see over there. It's like this mage has a key. I'll want to drop it on his patrol route when I have an opportunity to do so. That's 14 pickpockets, by the way. If you just stick left here, you should be able to stay pretty well undetected. Now this guard has a healing potion that we'll just want to pilfer and drop. Right back on his route. Let's read this. So like we once were are these who now inhabit this land. They are the chrysalis that shall become. We have adopted those few who have shown potential for enlightenment from the notes of Archmage Garrod's prophecies. Now if you look at the table, there's another healing potion and a useless loaf of bread. Alright. Now you see the stationary guard, for whatever reason, will stare at the corner sometimes. So we pop in behind him, grab his key. Who goes there? Drop it. You know, no, I don't like this place at as all. close to him as the game will let us. Now this is the so only. This is where the mages hide their dirty little secrets. <coughs> Have that. And did we, did I get the key dropped? Yes. Good. We'll wait for him to turn like so that. So this is where the mages hide their dirty little secrets. Well, there you saw Garrett fling himself off the door in an awesome dark engine glitch. I hope you enjoyed seeing that. So this is where the mages hide their dirty little secrets. Close that door behind us. Get to a shadow. Alright. We've arrived in the library. As for inventory purposes, we have 16 pickpockets. We're carrying the treasury key and one silver key. Our loot total is 1082. Excuse me. That shelf over there has three water arrows on it, if you're so inclined. Over here, we can find... A good, nice, handy papyrus. Notes from Council Session of the Inner Circle. Due to a disastrous experiment by Archmage Jabu Ibn Lani, the water tower will be closed until further notice due to flooding. All future experiments using water elementals are forbidden by mutual consent of the Inner Circle until we can devise stronger wards. Our keep must remain unified and maintain tradition. Each tower holds the key of another to maintain the doctrine of trust. Since the key to the Tower of Water was lost, controlling the accident, the Fire Mages have no symbol to guard. Therefore, the Fire Mages shall keep the key to the chamber in the central tower that holds our treasured possession. The key to the Tower of Earth shall remain in the Tower of Water, since the Water Mages are the only ones who can survive entering the flooded areas. Archmage Krios. So drop that back on the desk. snag his key for our 17th pickpocket. Well, wait a little bit longer and then drop it back on his route. There you go. There's our 17th pickpocket. And that, by the way, ticks off our objective to discover the location of the Earth Talisman. Terrific! You want to wait for this room to clear out again.
Despite appearances, that's not an actual shadow. Is he coming back upstairs yet? Yes, there he is. Our objective here is to hit this book, get into the secret room, grab the goblet this will make and the any glasses. Crack a smile. Now that door will close behind us after a little bit of time goes by, so just be quick in there and get back to the shadows. There was a goblet in there worth 25, and the reading glasses worth 200. And there you go, the objective to steal the jeweled reading glasses from the central library is checked. Wonderful. Now this guy also has a pickpocket. Our 18th pick, another healing potion, which I will drop on his route over here. I shall build shelters from the winds. No first alert. Okay, good. Okay, but we're gonna wait for him to come up, and then we're gonna slip down those stairs. countless waters see the vast earth and burn in eternal fire. Now, there's nothing to pick up on this floor, but I like to listen to the four oracles in the oracle room. So, just highlight these guys and listen to them. Greed shall be your undoing, poor Garrett. Betrayal force you to see Garrett. Deception is your power, Garrett. <clears throat> Do not let fear control your path, Garrett. <clears throat> well, that's interesting. I have to admit I've never seen that before. Feel the sting of my All right, obviously, this is a better place to hide. Greed shall be your undoing, poor Garrett. Do not let fear control your path, Garrett. Deception is your power, Garrett. I shall walk the path until my return to the eternal fire. I wonder if this is a programmed pause. Yes, it is. Okay. Just a funky animation. Betrayal will force you to see Garrett. Anyway, of course, everything they say is true. Let's read these documents. Mage Verlin, Azeron's interest in necromancy has not diminished despite his banishment. His study of the Black Arts continues at his spire in Dayport. We fear that his experiments with the reanimation of rats and insects will lead to more disturbing depths. He has even endeavored to recruit others on a crusade to recover the Book of Ash. The Book of Ash must remain a thing of the past. Azaran's ambition has blinded him to this, and he has proven himself a threat to our existence. His expulsion has only made him more resilient. It is the decision of the Inner Circle that greater measures be taken to correct this matter. Archmage Corino. Alright, let's read another book. Mastery of water requires that you return to the ways of your beginning. For nine moons you lived in water and then were born to a world of air and earth. 
You have forgotten your past, but we will teach you to remember. Put away immortal thoughts of breath and discover the ways of the sea. Do not walk the path with your limbs. Instead, allow your body to flow within it and become part of it. Until you have gained full mastery over water, return to the air, O oh adept, and cherish its protective sucker. In time, you will feel the warm embrace of water, traversing the entire system without need of breath. The Book of Coral and Scale, Chapter 7, Verse 12. Last one. Eight old men up in a tower, eight old men, only one with power. Turn away from the hand with the sword, count seven, and find your reward. That little riddle ultimately tells us how to get the talisman of Earth, but there's a much easier way to do it, which I'm equally happy to demonstrate. Anyway, let's head down to the lowest level of the library. I shall build shelters for More patrollers down here, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, there he is. Over here is a water arrow in the northeast corner. I'm mostly checking for books because I find the writings and flavor texts of this game very interesting. Uh oh. Let's not do that. Fortunately, I don't think there's ever anything in the middle of these aisles or in in the actual bookcases. I think everything ends up on tables and the like. Neither of these guys have any pickpockets to worry about. That's good news. Over here in the west, well, in there there's nothing. But if we pop over here, follow this guy, there's a gold vase worth 100 for a total of 1407. On this table down here are more water arrows. Now down these, uh-oh. To attack. Down these stairs, I don't... I don't think there's any loot, but I think there might be some flavor text, so I'm gonna go check on that right quick. Well, there doesn't appear to be anything on this floor, so... Let's follow him through that door. This chest has a rope arrow in it. Ah yes, there is some flavor text. I thought so. So like we once were, these who now inhabit this land. We already saw this riding upstairs. They are the chrysalis that shall become. We have adopted those few who have shown potential for enlightenment from the notes of Archmage Garrod's prophecies. All right. That's it for the library. So head all the way back upstairs and leave the way we came in. Perfect supreme go- well, it's only perfect once we get all the loot, but we will do that. For right now, I'll just say, Supreme Ghost, still intact. No first alerts, no equipment use, everything behind us as it was when we found it. At least everything that can be is. Oh! Alright. I have to wait for him to come back downstairs. We might need to follow someone upstairs. <laughs> that might be the, the winner's way to do this. Shall build shelters or not. from the winds. Feel the countless waters. I know he's gonna pause in the oracle room, so 
Alrighty. Boom, 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 boom. Alright. There's one thing left to do on this level. And that's this lookout on the east side of the main foyer. Now, I don't think we can get past that archer going this way. In fact, I'm almost certain we can't. I don't know why this door is standing open. I didn't open it, but... I think it might... It's supposed to be closed. Okay. We have to creep crouch... Okay. Through this door. <clears throat> Something there. He's turned. We need to creep out. Ever so slowly. <clears throat> that swordsman will come back eventually, but his patrol is really long. So I'm not too worried about it. Okay, we managed to squeak out. Let the record show I found this door standing open, so that's the way I'm going to leave it. <laughs> now we can reach the purse <clears throat> through the window. If you're, you know, wondering how we're going to do this, I would hope that much was obvious at this juncture. What do I see there? Okay, can't do that. I <coughs> 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 gotta move more slowly. <coughs> Let's get a little bit farther out. <coughs> the thing you can do that makes this much easier that I wasn't able to do is if you manage to trigger this conversation <coughs> when you're upstairs over there you can move in and nab the purse before the archer facing into the room comes back. That, of course, allows you to sneak behind the one inside and get the purse pretty easily. Hey, did you see someone over there? <coughs> over there! If you're not going for Supreme, if all you care about is Normal Ghost, then you can go ahead and douse the torch, and that's much, okay. much easier than the move I'm trying to pull off here. But I'm pretty certain this move is possible, so let's give it a whirl. <clears throat> Let's move as far out as Look. we can. Over there. Am I crouched? Yes, okay. I guess the real trick is just to move 
absolutely <laughs> tiny, tiny increments. So that you never, never trigger movement illumination. <laughs> the other problem is that. Hey, did you see someone over that swordsman is eventually going to get back here. What I see there. <laughs> hey. What? Oh, Garrett. <coughs> What's going on over there? Well, now Garrett won't <laughs> creep. There we go. Did you see that too? <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, we are right on the edge of our first alert hey, here. Did you see? Hey, Garrett, I'm holding shift. Garrett, I'm holding shift. What does that mean? Say it with me. Did you see something over there? Go slow. Every time I successfully advance a little bit, I do another save. Did you see something over there? Hey, did you? <clears throat> hey, did you see someone over there? <clears throat> Did you see something over there? Look there. <coughs> Look there. Sometimes Garrett just doesn't register that shift key. Did you see something over there? Lord knows why. Uh-oh. <coughs> Here comes trouble. <coughs> Maybe he'll give us a wide enough berth. If he doesn't, we're gonna have to reload and try to do this much faster. Good thing I real saved here at the start, I guess. I wonder about an alternative tactic. Bear with me here. Look. Assuming I can convince Garrett to go slow enough. If I step backwards, he'll move slow. Did you see something over there? Now I want to mantle up next to that pillar. I heard that. <laughs> Excellent. That should give us the extra speed we needed. Huh. <laughs> 
uh, something there. <coughs> Did you see something over there? Now, if he'll just turn, <coughs> we'd really be in business. Hey. Did you see? Did you see that too? Did you see something over there? <laughs> hey, did you see? Look. Here comes trouble again. Look there. <coughs> did you see something over there? I think we have more room on this side to let the swordsman go by. If he's willing. We'll find out. <coughs> Not good enough. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Now from here, we should be able to lean in and grab the purse. Hey, who's there? I think that was a little bit too far. <laughs> There it is. 100 loot, total 1507. It was a hell of a lot of work for that one little purse, wasn't it? Hey, did you see? <clears throat> now we have to get back, of course. Which is just as much fun as <coughs> getting in was. <laughs> Now we need to get all the way back. <laughs> and we need to do it pretty quick. <clears throat> because that Did same that, too? that same patroller is on his way here. <laughs> Something there. to the edge. <clears throat> Feel like that improves our chances. <clears throat> Thought I <clears throat> He saw nothing, dick. <clears throat> Did you see something over there? <clears throat> Look. <clears throat> over there. I see there. Nothing. <laughs> oh, Garrett. <laughs> Look. Over there. Um, Did you see that too? <laughs> oh, fuck. No. <laughs> Did you see something over there? Shit. Look there. Shit. <laughs> Gotta start over. Gotta be careful with that quick save. Should have done a re really should have done a real save after I managed to get it. 
Oh well. <clears throat> it's done is done, I suppose. <clears throat> oh yeah. Walking backwards. We can move faster. Well, good thing I good thing I had that real save at the beginning. Yikes. All right. Well. What I see there. Nothing for it. Look. People up above me get all the light and get all the favors and I don't have nothing to eat in Look there. A big part of this seems to be whether or not he's willing to turn. Or which way he seems to want to face. Look. Obviously. <laughs> Have a lot of trouble if he turns toward us. I wish he was going about it. Come on. Over. Yeah, I need I I just need him to turn or stay turned. Then I can pop right over. Well, not that far. This is the spot I think where I'm safe from the <laughs> traveling swordsman. With my purse in hand. And I'll wait and make sure he goes by. Now I am going to do a real save. Because good gravy. I don't want to do that again. I'm going to wait for homie here to turn. Did you see something over there? <laughs> back out of here. I do notice, now that I'm playing with this, that it's a lot easier to go Come slow on, if you walk backwards. Maybe that's part of the way to do this. Keep on walk over Keep on walking backwards. I don't see why I should have to be the one down here in the cold. Did you see the something over there? Nope. He saw nothing and so did you. Okay. Now from here. I'm just gonna head down to the first floor and get back to the central staircase that way. That seems much easier. Because the central staircase is where I'm headed. What's up, bro? Later, everybody. Back to the central staircase. This time all the way up to the third floor of the keep. Well, 
Let's begin. Yahoo. Got to pick this door right here in the bright light. Long pick. Obviously tense. Just pop into this room as soon as it opens. Should have plenty of time. All right. This is Captain Regalio's bedroom. If you go over to this chest, there's a diamond worth 200 for whatever reason. Brings our total to 1707. And on the desk, is the Medallion of St. Burringdon, worth 150. Looks like Captain Regalio's been holding out on the mages. Good thing he can't hold out on me. <clears throat> That's worth 150 for a total of 1857, and you'll notice that ticks off two objectives. Steal 1800 loot and steal the Medallion of St. Burringdon. Boom. The desk also has a gold nugget worth 100 for a total of 1957, and a journal. Let's read it. Recovering the Golden Medallion of St. Burringdon will reward all the sweat I put into the endless hunt for those damned talismans. By selling it, I will surely make some profit off of this ordeal. In all my years of service to the Hand, I have never seen their efforts so thoroughly stymied. It's almost as though one of their own had taken and hidden the talismans so completely that not even the Archmages can find them. Captain E. F. Regalio. Now, over on the shelf, closer to the Captain himself, our two water arrows, if you're so inclined. So now, back out to the main hallway. I see an archer coming towards me, so I'm going to wait until he leaves. My next stop is that door on the right, which will open and shut with the silver key I'm carrying. Another sleeper in here. Lock the door behind us. Now I can't remember which chest is which. One has loot, one has water arrows. Or broadhead arrows. That's the broadhead arrows. So I'm gonna go for the gold. That was 50 loot, brings our total to 2,007. I'm gonna open this door again. Creep out into the hallway as I hear the last guard leaving. I'm gonna run up and grab this purse, which is our 19th pickpocket and brings our loot total to 2,157. And I'm gonna save. This room, I think, is where we're going to have to go get some crates. Yes, it is. <laughs> now, first things first, this gal holds a purse. <laughs> That's our 20th pickpocket. Brings our loot total to 2232. <clears throat> that those coins are worth 25 brings our loot total to 2257 <laughs> now that goblet if you're playing normal ghost it's easy just douse the torch and you're good but she's got a first alert if I try to cross the room directly without grabbing it so what I need <clears throat> to do is sneak back to the dungeon get some crates use them to get on the bed and then I can approach the <laughs> goblet from that side of the room as she's turned away from it. And I should be able to nab it without even getting a first alert. Let's go for it. <clears throat> so when the coast is clear, head back to the dungeon. All the way down the central stairs. 
But you're still astonishingly unpatrolled. I see those crates. Were they in the secret room? I think they might have been. Yes. As always, be mindful that there are patrollers in here. Grab one. Now remember, for the supreme rules, stacking objects is okay as long as you put everything back and the stack doesn't sit on a patrol route. We'll be fine on both counts. Putting these back won't be a problem. And we're not planning on stacking them on anyone's patrol route. Let's run these bad boys all the way up to the third floor. Which I think it's here. Am I right? Am I wrong? I'm wrong. One more. Here we go. Let's go get our other one. I should credit Clatramus and his amazing Supreme Ghost website for the solution to supreming this part. I'll wait till I hear those footsteps recede a little bit. Leave these in these shadows. I might get spotted here. Let's hope not. Probably, though. Nope. Now obviously she needs to turn, and then I can creep these over to the corner behind her, one at a time. <clears throat>
<clears throat> Should be able to get back to the door now, as long as she doesn't turn too soon. <laughs> Got the second crate. <clears throat> she turned rather cooperatively that time. That's good. That's good. All right. Let's do a real save before we start all this. <laughs> now that we're up here with everything we need, the first part's pretty simple. <laughs> Just want to. Look straight down, drop the crate, and jump. Although, we need to be right flush adjacent with the bed when we do it, so let's try that again. Well. I don't have. Can't have that. Straight down, drop, jump. Perfect. Repeat. Straight down, drop, jump. That didn't work. Straight down, drop, jump. Excellent. We've made it onto the bed. Now I need her to turn to the southeast. Then I can jump, then I can get straight onto the chest, lean and get the goblet, and I can get back onto the bed without her ever noticing. Of course, I need to have my crates close by in order to pull off that maneuver. I mean, I'll need them nearby to get back onto the bed, so. I need to make sure I can at least reach them. Alright, let's do this. I don't have any mo Dang it. Need to do a little better on the drop. Got the goblet. What's that? See, I can't have... <clears throat> she can face southeast and south, and I'm fine. If she turns southwest... Who's there? Before I get back onto the bed, I'm hosed. Who's there? Come on, Garrett. This ain't that hard. Got our goblet. Now I think I'm good, even if she does turn. So let's get the crates. Yes, good. Straight down. Drop it. Please don't. Come on, Garrett. Come on. Stack those crates. It ain't that hard. Who's there? Mm-hmm. 
You can do this, pal. <clears throat> Who's there? Do you know how I know? <clears throat> you did it once already. So come on. Be a What's bud. <clears throat> Oops. Can't have that. Alright, good. Is that you, Kevil? Okay. Can't make that stepping noise, but... Excellent! Let's get both our crates. Now I need to get off the bed silently. Could be tough. No problem at all. So we gotta bring the crates back downstairs one at a time, but that's no big deal, as long as she stays turned and we don't run right into any patrollers. <laughs> Need to make my escape from this room now. Alright, let's grab the other crate. While everybody is occupied. Do a real save. Nicely supremed. Thank you, Clotramus. Let's take these bad boys downstairs. Put them back where we found them. That was the last bit that's really tough at all. The rest is cake. back through the secret door without getting nabbed by any of the patrols. Shouldn't be too hard. If I remember right, those two were pretty close together in the bottom row. And then the third was... 
on top of those. So wait, I think he's gonna turn right, but yes, good. Put that where we found it. Come on, Garrett. There you go. Good work, my lad. Shut that again. Shut that again. Back up to finish off the third floor. Do another real save. Just cause. Alright. Now we're gonna go to this second door on the right. We can open and shut it with the silver key. Sleeping servant in here. The chest on the right has a purse, brings our total to 2382. Want to leave and relock the door when we have an opening. Get to this handy shadow. Sneak to this shadow next. Want to head into that room when we have an opening. Desk in here's got another purse, total 2482. That was your last- Whoops! Okay, I guess we'll wait in here until we get another opening. I think the door on the other side just leads to an empty room. We'll check right quick. Now he's coming over here. I guess we can wait on the archer too. Get back to my interim shadow. I just want to verify this other room is empty. Yeah, it is. Thought so. We need to head back toward the central stairs. There's one kind of cheeky piece of loot left to get down here. Which I'll show to you when we get an opening. Uh-oh. Got too greedy, too greedy. Once you've got a gap to pop into, head south again. Put a rope in this rafter. Climb up real quick. Grab the gold nugget. Another hundred, total 2582. 
grab your rope, and get back to the central stairs. Third floor is clear. All that's left is the central tower. So, roll on up. We can pick open this door, so let's do that. Shut it behind us. Here's some reading material. The same hint, which I'll tell you now doesn't actually work. Eight old men up in a tower, eight old men, only one with power. Turn away from the hand with the sword, count seven and find your reward. So, I'll tell you what that means when we get up there. Uh, let's start sneaking up these stairs. You hear a patrolling fire mage. If I remember right, he walks all the way up and down the stairs. It's a pretty lengthy patrol, but there are enough shadows to hide in, as long as we stay quiet. I think here will be a good place to wait for him to bypass us. Just Let's just wait. Let's not try to start moving. Alrighty. That should be much better. All right, he's out of range now anyway. Now this door opens with the treasure key we got from the fire tower. Now I'm gonna loot this room it's first. He has returned. He must we must be ready. Rough waters lie ahead. Many will not survive. We must try to redirect the current. Dry as we might to retrieve the talismans, the prophecy is an ocean returning to shore. Little we can do to prevent it and prepare for its arrival. Dry and dead is much of the city. The sun will oppose and the conflict will end in flames. It's the way of things. Civilizations will burn into the earth, so that it may give life to the next. Winds of progress always head towards the grave. Soon, young apprentice, you shall grasp the truth of it. Hmm. So, to the left of the door as you enter is a little vase thing worth 20 brings your total to 2602 these guys aren't that hard to avoid there are plenty of shadows to hide in anyway the statues are worth 75 each the pointy ones are worth 20 each that brought my total to 2677 2697 the last two make it 2772 and 2792. 
And then... The last one... Oops. Beast. Just to the right of the door we came in. Another 20 for a total of 2812. That's the last piece of loot. Now, I'll tell you what the riddle is supposed to show you. You you might have noticed there are eight talismans sitting around the room. There are eight. The uh, poem said, eight old men up in a tower, eight old men, only one with power. Obviously, eight talismans, only one is real. Turn away from the hand with the sword, count seven and find your reward. So, if we get our sword out, it's the right hand, which means we're supposed to turn left and count seven, which would be that talisman in the corner. But that's not the right one. We'll get zapped if we peg that one. The easier way to tell the right one is it's the one that the two patrollers stop and stare at. Makes sense anyway, doesn't it? They would know which one it was. They'd stop and check on it. That all makes sense to me. So yeah, the riddle is off by one. <coughs> Alright, let him finish meditating at the talisman. Creep forward and grab it. A little farther. A little farther. There we go. Talisman of Earth. Got it. Now all that's left is to get out. 2812 is all of the loot available in the mission, by the way, in case you were wondering. Head back out. Now we're just gonna head all the way back down the central stairs. <laughs> Kinda have to hope the timing is such that you can get to a good shadow to wait for the fire mage to go by on his way up. This is the first good one, but I think we might be able to push to the next one. Yes. Alright, let's go to this corner and wait. Now the only thing left that we need to do Supreme Ghost wise is return this key. As I mentioned before, here we are back on the central stairs, all the way down to the basement. Or the dungeon, rather. Pop back through here one last time. Poke our head out into the gardens. find the mage just to make sure that we actually drop this on his patrol route. There they are. That done. 
back down through the secret entrance. Shut it. <coughs> Alright, let's not do that. Let's... Let's have Garrett kindly grab the ladder instead. Much better. <coughs> Garrett! <coughs> Garrett, I'm starting to get fed up with this. Alright, let's just do this. Okay, nobody heard anything. Let's pop out that secret door. That's the last time, in case you're wondering. Let's do a real save here. It's the last little bit we need to do. Let's get the two pickpockets down here in the dungeon. Seems like a great place to wait. Here's the first key. That's 21 pickpockets. Sounds like someone's stuck. Yeah. Hey! So that's 22 picks. We're going to want to close, lock, block. Open, drop in what has become routine practice for me, and close. That's 22 pickpockets. Here we are in the torture chamber. Another secret door here. Close it behind us. Do watch out for one last patroller. Pop down to the sewers and make your exit. As soon as I find you, <laughs> gotta make sure he doesn't hear the splash, of course. I think we're good. Hmm. This looks like the way out. That'll come in use. And there we go! Perfect! Supreme Ghost of the Mage Towers. Thank you very much. There's all our objectives. Here on our statistics screen, that took 1 hour, 56 minutes, 4 seconds. We found 2812 loot out of 2812. We picked 22 out of 22 pockets. Picked four locks, no backstabs, no knockouts, no damage dealt or taken, no healing taken, nothing and nobody killed. The campaign so far has lasted 23 hours, 18 minutes and 6 seconds. We found 19,141 loot. Our damage dealt is still 20 from the training mission and our received damage is still zero. That's excellent, excellent, excellent work. I'm going to save for real right there. I am... Now I'm going to go to bed, <laughs> because it's after midnight and I've got class in the morning. But thank you all for watching. I will see you next time in the Lost City. Bye-bye.